hello. What we have here is Danfoss Icon 230 volts in wall room thermostat, programmable room thermostat. Uh, pushing a screen, we can activate it, and uh, first, what we see is uh, actual room temperature 23.9 degrees, and those three waves indicate thermostat is calling for a heating, so your actuator for underfloor heating or for radiator should be on. Uh, here, uh, icon which uh, is uh, shining the, the brightest shows we have comfort temperature and we can adjust this com comfort temperature. Now setting is 25 degrees, so we can lower it to, for example, 23. And now we see our waves disappeared because my setting is less uh, comparing to actual room temperature. Here we can set our uh, away temperature, man out of the house means we are away. So being away we can set uh, another temperature. And there is one more icon, moon icon. Here we can set night temperature. The temperature we are going, we are going to sleep can be different uh, comparing to temperature we are away. Okay, so this is our basic steps for temperature setup. And here we can adjust something more inside of this uh, setting icon. Menu 1, we can choose our P1, P0, uh, P2, P3, P till P6. Uh, so there are typical common uh, schedules uh, and you should pick uh, the one that uh, fits your needs the best. P0 means there is no scheduling and there always will be a temperature you set, either the night temperature, away temperature or comfort temperature. Okay, I go to menu 2. Menu 2, we can limit our maximum and our minimum room temperature, so nobody could uh, adjust more or less. Menu 3 is for date and type set, time setup. Let's say we are satisfied with our setting of uh, date and time. And then we go to menu 4, and menu 4 is automatic or off automatic means uh, summer and winter time change. So let's leave automatic. Uh, menu 5 is uh, software version. And what else we have here? And menu 9. Because we have uh, connected uh, underfloor sensor here, so we can limit maximum floor sense, floor temperature, and we can limit minimum floor temperature. If we, for example, uh, set minimum uh, like a, a higher than uh, 5 degrees, let's say if we would set floor temperature 22 degrees, so probably we will always have uh, a bit warmer uh, floor. Okay, and there is something more, so you need to push and hold for uh, 6 seconds to enter installer advanced menu so menu 6 is was hidden and it is for nc or a no type actuator so connecting it connecting thermostat installer should uh, choose the right type of actuator and type of actuator usually is written on the actuator for underfloor heating we usually use normally closed actuators okay menu 6 menu 7. Menu 7 is slow, medium or fast reaction of your thermostat. So fast reaction we need for radiator control, medium we need for soft underflow system, something like done for speed up, and slow reaction time is used with a common underflow heating system. Then we have, let's say, that system where pipes are integrated into concrete, into heavy concrete. 
Okay, so I choose slow reaction time. And uh, the last one is menu eight. Menu eight is combined or floor, FL. Floor means uh, thermostat will regulate your heating only according under floor sensor, which is hidden only uh, in, a, in a concrete. So this type of control might be useful if uh, under floor heating is used in somewhere near the pool or near the sauna where room temperature is not so important. And the, the most important is, let's say, floor temperature. And uh, combined, combined means we are uh, controlling our heating depending on room temperature, depending what we have set uh, with those three icons. And the thermostat also checks floor temperature. So it tries to maintain minimum temperature we set. And in a case uh, floor is overheated, uh, over the maximum temperature we set, it will stop the heating temporarily. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.